In early August 2023, a confrontation unfolded in the Black Sea between Ukraine and Russia, marked by the engagement of three Ukrainian naval drones named the Magura V-5 USVs. Following the attack, reports surfaced that Russia requested evacuation, suggesting possible severe damage to their patrol ship. Unofficial reports also mentioned one casualty and five injuries. In this Black Sea incident, the confrontation was between Ukrainian naval drones and Russian patrol ships, both designed for surveillance duties. The question of which is more effective remains a matter of debate. However, history has shown that armies capable of integrating new technologies often gain a significant advantage on the battlefield. Technology acts as a force multiplier, challenging traditional notions of military effectiveness. The Magura's success in minimizing personnel risk underscores this point. But what exactly is the Magura V5 USV? The Magura V5 unmanned surface vehicle, also known as an autonomous surface vehicle, is a drone designed for operation on the water's surface. Unlike flying drones, the Magura takes the form of a small ship capable of moving across the water. Developed in November 2022 by Spets Techno Export, a Ukrainian-based company, Magura's production cost reached $270,000. The drone was unveiled at an international defense industry exhibition in Istanbul, Turkey. Notably, the Magura was developed without the involvement of commercial technology vendors, highlighting its unique position in the landscape of military technology. With a length of five and a half meters, a width of one and a half meters, and a height above the water surface of half a meter, the Magura V5 specifications are notably vigilant, especially given Russia's awareness of its upgraded payload capacity. The discussion around the Magura V5 is warranted because it can carry over 300 kilograms of explosives and is equipped with a large satellite receiver. The Magura V5 boasts speeds ranging from 41 kilometers per hour to a maximum of 78 kilometers per hour. Its exceptional speed, unmatched in the Black Sea, makes it a challenging target for Russia to attack. With a range of up to 800 kilometers and the ability to operate for up to 60 hours on water, its coverage extends across most of the Black Sea. Given its specifications, it is not an exaggeration to claim that the Magura V-5 is more effective than anti-ship missiles and torpedoes. For instance, the American-made Harpoon anti-ship missile has a range of only 280 kilometers, whereas the Megura can travel up to 800 kilometers. Another comparison with a similarly purposed weapon system is the Naval Strike Missile, which has been effectively used by the United States in the South China Sea, always hitting its targets unimpeded. Ukraine has also shown interest in this missile for striking Russian land and naval targets. However, the operational range of the naval strike missile is limited to 250 kilometers, which is still less than that of the Magura. Moreover, when comparing costs, the naval strike missile is approximately 10 times more expensive than the Magura, with a unit price of $2.1 million, compared to Magura's $270,000. However, the Magura is limited to maritime targets, distinguishing its operational focus from broader capability systems. The technological prowess and operational methodology of the Magura V5 set it apart from missiles or torpedoes due to its dual functionality. The Magura V5 is not merely a ship-destroying tool, it can also undertake reconnaissance and patrol missions, search and rescue operations, mine countermeasures, maritime security, and combat missions. This versatility makes the Magura V5 a multifunctional drone adaptable to the needs of the mission at hand. However, its primary functions are surveillance and reconnaissance, making it an invaluable asset. 
As previously mentioned, the Magura possesses expertise in mine warfare. It can stealthily deploy mines and also detect and neutralize enemy mines. The Magura's electric propulsion system endows it with stealth capabilities. Compared to naval ships, sea drones are harder to detect by radar because they operate on the water's surface and produce less noise. The Magura can be controlled manually through networked systems or satellite communications. However, its most distinguished feature is its autonomous functionality, allowing it to be operated remotely. By eliminating the need for a human crew, the Magura not only minimizes personnel risk, but also operational costs, making it a cost-effective tool for defense and security. What advantages does Ukraine gain from utilizing the Magura V5? Ukraine, not possessing a large navy and outnumbered in terms of personnel and weaponry, faces a formidable challenge against Russia. The deployment of sea drones like the Magura enables Ukraine to prevent Russia from gaining full control over the Black Sea. However, what Russia needs to be most cautious about is that the Magura operates as a kamikaze drone. This means the Magura is capable of conducting suicide attacks, making it a particularly formidable weapon in the maritime domain. The Magura has demonstrated its effectiveness as a kamikaze drone on several occasions. For instance, in May 2023, the Russian warship Ivan Kurs was targeted by three Ukrainian sea drones in the Black Sea. Russia claimed to have thwarted the Ukrainian sea drone's attempt to attack the ship. However, footage from the incident shows the drone successfully approaching the vessel. Furthermore, the Magura played a role in attacks against Russian assets in Crimea and the Black Sea, such as the strike on the Kerch Bridge on July 17, 2023. This bridge suffered significant damage due to the actions of Ukrainian sea drones. The attack on the Kerch Bridge was particularly strategic, given that the bridge symbolizes Russia's occupation. Beyond its symbolic significance as a marker of Russia's desire to take over Ukraine, the Kerch Bridge also serves as a crucial supply route for Russian military operations in Crimea. The Ukrainian sea drone attacks have thus caused disruptions to Russian logistical operations. Another attack occurred on August 4th, when a 112-meter landing ship, typically used for transporting troops and military equipment, was struck and disabled at the Novorossiysk port in the Black Sea. Surveillance footage revealed that the sea drone moved silently towards the ship and collided with its midsection. It is reported that the drone was carrying approximately 450 kilograms of explosives. The exact extent of the damage to the Russian ship remains unclear, but as a result of this incident, the vessel had to be towed to port by the Russian Navy. Controversy and failures have also marked the use of Ukrainian sea drones. In early August, Ukrainian sea drones targeted a civilian Russian flag tanker in the Kerch Strait, Crimea, causing severe damage to the vessel. This attack temporarily halted traffic on the Crimea Bridge and disrupted transportation for several hours. Russia condemned Ukraine's actions for attacking a civilian ship, expressing outrage over the lack of condemnation from Western countries and international organizations, accusing Ukraine of crossing a line by targeting civilian vessels. The most controversial issue involved the Russian intelligence patrol ship Ivan Kors. Ukraine claimed that its sea drone caused significant damage to the Ivan Kors. Footage does show a drone approaching the ship, suggesting the possibility of a collision. However, this is in direct contradiction to Russian claims that their ship sustained no damage. Russia asserted that it successfully thwarted the Ukrainian sea drone attack. The absence of damage was purportedly confirmed by video footage showing the ship sailing without any visible signs of harm. If we consider the two sets of footage, Ukraine's claim might seem more credible because the drone was indeed able to get close to the ship. 
The problem lies in the documentation of various attacks by Ukraine, the outcomes of which remain debated and, in some cases, difficult to verify. On the other hand, there is video footage that allegedly shows Ivan Kurz repelling an attack from three sea drones. From what is observable, the sea drones were destroyed by the Russian ship's countermeasures. Regardless of who might be concealing truths, the role of technology in warfare is undeniably significant. Many strategists believe that technology is a key factor in determining the strength of an army and its ability to achieve victory. In the era of modern warfare, it is crucial to learn about the changes that occur during war. The United States Navy, for example, has often been criticized in wartime for its reluctance to embrace change and its inability to transform. The key here is adaptation. In warfare, militaries strive to adapt to the conditions of the battlefield to gain an advantage over the enemy. But what should be done? Adapt, innovate, and then adapt again, as this cycle never ceases as long as war persists. Adaptation occurs during wartime as militaries grapple with the pressures from enemy actions and operational environments. Meanwhile, innovation can only take place in times of peace because military organizations have the time to consider the impacts of change. And one thing that must be acknowledged about Ukraine is their success in adapting and innovating with the Magura, a sea drone that represents a new, effective technology with cost efficiency 